Great day here in Charlotte. Players and coaches just having their photos taken. Group shot. And the lower left there is sharp looking, isn't he? Coach Steve Adazio going to join us here. You couldn't have a day at ACC Media Day without wrapping it up. One of the all-time dudes in college football, Steve Adazio. We're going to get to him shortly. But let's look back at the Boston College season. That was some missed opportunities. Certainly when you think about the opener in Ireland against Georgia Tech. Kicking game. Kind of let them down at that point. Sort of a very similar story to even the previous year. Dominant defense. But the offense could not quite catch up. Still, though, seven-win year. Including going back to a bowl game with Coach Steve Adazio and Boston College. So, again, just like last summer when you and I were talking, it was how on earth do you get your offense to kind of catch up with what was a dominant, especially at times, a dominant defense last year? Yeah, well, I mean, it, it started out when I first got to BC a little flip the other way. And then it flipped back yeah. to the defense. And I think the key is to get them balanced. Right. And, you know, last year was a process to bring us to where we are this year. That wasn't a one-year fix. We needed time to develop our offensive line. We needed time for our skill players to develop. We needed to get more solid quarterback play. And we just needed to mature mm -hmm. and believe and, 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 and learn how to win on offense. And I think that's what last year's journey was about. And so I'm really excited about where we are right now because I believe we're ready to start seeing some future playmaking stars come about on offense now. Which it's it starts with the quarterback spot, though, right? I mean, you had, sort of had the one no year with Patrick Tolles last year. Right. Now you start anew again, and you really have got to get better quarterback play because you've got tailbacks. You got you've it. got the offensive line. Yep. Now you've got to get that QB going. Right. We've got really good tight ends, really good receivers right now. So the, we had great quarterback play in the spring. These are talented guys we have that have yet to be in a real – well, Darius has been in a game. He played the first few games two years ago before he mm -hmm. broke his leg. So he has some experience, but they have real ability. And I'm excited about that ability. They can get the ball down the field. They can manage the throw game and make plays. And that's something that we have to do this year, and I believe we will do. And it puts a lot of pressure on the defense, doesn't it? I mean, you've got some studs. You've got some dudes on that side with Landry, particularly yeah. on that defensive end spot. They've proven themselves. He's coming back in now with one of the top defensive ends in the conference for sure. But that puts a lot of extra pressure on them when the offense can't move the football, doesn't it? I think it does. I think the one thing we do do is complement a defense, though. I mean, what we don't do is expose the defense. We, you know, we're usually able to run the ball and control the clock a little bit, which helps, which helps the defense. Sometimes if you're tempo and you're off the field, you put more pressure on them. I think on defense with Harold and guys like Zach Allen and Wyatt Ray, Connor Strahan in the middle with Ty Swab, and, and in the back end we've got Isaac Guy down. We've got some experience on that side of the ball and on the offensive side of the ball. But, you know, more importantly than anything else, there's a belief and an energy amongst each other on that football team right now that they're not going to let each other down. They're accountable to each other. And I really like that. I, I think that's the, that's, the, that's the real foundation of what a good football team's going to have. It's not about defense, not about offense right now. It's about our team and not wanting to let anybody down on that football team. That's where we are right now, and that's what makes it exciting. And we have the tools to move the football and defend the football. So, What's your selling pitch to a guy like A.J. Dillon, top, one of the top running backs in the country, chooses yeah. you guys over Michigan? Yeah. How do you sell him on Boston College? Yeah. Oh, I mean, it's easy. I mean, number one, you, you want to get an elite education. You want to get an education that will set you up for the rest of your life. I'm talking about going to the number three ranked business school in America. I'm talking about having an opportunity to play in, in the best conference in college football on, a, on, a, on a, a field with the best. You can play against the best to prove you are the best, okay? You're in a locker room with a bunch of guys you know you want to get in that foxhole with every day. They're tremendous human beings, right? And then you're in an offense as a running back that's going to allow you seven and a half yards deep to get the ball, run downhill, <laughs> and be able to impose your will with the great athletics uh, gifts that you have. So, I mean, I think when you put those things together for a young man and, and, and then you talk about the let, let's talk about the platform of Boston for just a second. Right. It's one of the largest media markets in the country. You saw Andre Williams went from a relative unknown to a runner up for the Heisman yeah. Trophy. That's the power of Boston. So coupled with everything I said is this unbelievable sports town that when you have success and they get behind you, that media market can catapult you. What a, I think, why not? Well, let's look at the schedule that uh, A.J. Dillon and the rest of his Boston College teammates are going to have to navigate this year when you talk about B.C. And as Coach said, your conference slate is tougher than it's ever been. It, it, you know, when you talk about how deep the ACC is, throw in a Notre Dame into that mix as well. And um, this game at Fenway Park, it's always fun and interesting when you get to play a football game there in the shadow with a green monster. Coach, appreciate you. As always, good seeing you. Best of luck this year. Thanks for having me. Good seeing you.